Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Polly. And I'm walking up to a lemonade stand with you. And I want to say welcome to Video Notes 3.2, where we're going to do Lewis Dot, some shapes, and talk a little bit about single, double, and triple bonds. So let's hop a to wit. All right. So first of all, you need to know that bonding makes substances more stable. So that means bonding is favored. Whoops. And what that means is energy is released when bonds form. So imagine if I shook you all the time. Yeah, that's high energy. That's unstable. You're going to go insane. You're going to smack me right in the face. But you didn't. So um, energy is absorbed when bonds break. So I'm surprised I didn't write this down. I always write this down. Um, the way I remember break, absorb, and release form is barf. Barf. One of my favorite characters from Spaceballs. Break, absorb, release, form. Okay, so breaking bonds absorbs energy. Releasing energy forms bonds. So that helps me remember barf. Okay. Um, delta H is a way we measure energy, and we'll get into that a lot more later. But if you know that it's negative when bonds form and positive when bonds break, that might sneak its way into a question here. All right. Covalent co bonds come in three flavors. Mm. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. No, no, no. Single, double, and triple. So the only thing that's particularly interesting about this is a single bond has two electrons. A double bond has four electrons. And a triple bond has six electrons. So that must mean each bond consists of two electrons, right? And you would it makes sense that single bond is the weakest, right? And triple bond is the strongest. But what's weird is a long bond is weak, okay? So again, let me bust out a little Coulomb's law. Q1, Q2 over radius squared. BE is bond energy. Qs are charges. And this is size, radius, right? Size. So if I divide it by a big number, so if I divide by... Nine 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 nine, right? The bond energy is going to get really small, right? So long bonds are weak, short bonds are strong. Ah, ah, ah! On Roman numeral three already? Yeah, you betcha. Structural formulas show the attachment of atoms. Okay, CO two is not COO, right? We need to find out how to find the correct arrangement. So that's the structural formula showing the correct order. Lewis dot structures show the correct arrangement. That's a structural formula. Okay. To draw a correct Lewis dot structure, here we go. Put the least frequently occurring atom in the middle, or C, right? C always goes in the middle. It's kind of special that way. Arrange other atoms around the middle atom. Put valence electrons around all the atoms, aiming single electrons at each other. Put one electron at a time around the atom. So what I did here was I picked uh, different elements in the periodic table. So here's my periodic table, all right? And then over here is my oh, I didn't put a I didn't put a noble gas up here, I guess. Okay. So this is my periodic table. So this has one valence electron, right? Hey, there's one. Here's two. Oh, one, two. Here's three, you get the idea now, right? So as you go across the periodic table, it changes from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven. And I suppose I could put like neon with eight in here. But we know noble gases are rarely, rarely, rarely bond. So once we do that, once we've got all these dots, um, I like to sing a song from Pee Wee's Playhouse called Connect the Dots, la, la, la. All right, so this may form double or triple bonds. Whoa, when I connect the dots. The outer atoms must have eight, except hydrogen has two. Aluminum and boron often have six. Oh, man, so many exceptions. So we've got um, hydrogen that can have two. Boron and aluminum can have six. And then the central atom prefers eight. But in our geometry terms, if and only if it is on the third period or below, it can have 8 or 10 or 12. 10 and 12 are not preferred, but they are acceptable. Okay. 
Next rule is you are the master of the electron. You can pick one off one atom and put it on another. You can form double or triple bonds. You can get rid of single electrons. Um, that's the whole point. Get rid of single electrons and make them pairs. Oh my goodness, you forgot to write down and make them pairs? Cole, come on, I wrote it down. Cole, you really should write. Did you write down neon, Cole? Oh, Cole, come on. Okay, sometimes Lewis dot structures are ions. You're going to address the charge last. Okay, so you're going to try and draw it out. And then if it's a positive ion, you get to take away or kill any one electron you want. If it's a negative ion, negative one, you can add one electron wherever you want. So if it's like plus two or plus three, that means you add or remove two or three or whatever the charge. All right, that made no sense. Psst. I know, I didn't understand it either. So what I'm gonna do is do a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of, um, uh, Lewis dot structures, do, 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 one. So oxygen goes in the middle and it has six valence electrons from where it is in the periodic table. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And the hydrogen. One, one. So on the periodic table, just to remind you, this has one valence electron. Oxygen is in the spot that has six. Okay. Then what I do is I sing, connect the dots. Hey, everybody, it's Hagen. Come on in, Hagen. Hi. What brings you here, Hagen? I couldn't see, like, the podcast is not linked on Canvas. You're right, Hagen. It's done at the end of the hour. You're on the podcast right now. Say hi to everybody, Hagen. Oh, my God. Hi, everyone. It's Hagen. Okay. Hagen wishes us all a troll, and we're good. All right. Thank you. I'll see you later, my friend. Toodles. Okay. So this is the Lewis dot structure of HOH just by connecting the dots. All right. Then I have NH3. N. One, two, three, four, five. And I should have five. Then hydrogen has one. Other hydrogen, one, other hydrogen, one. Do you see how I put the hydrogens at the single electrons? And I connect the dots, la, la, la. Connect the dots, la, la. That's it. Let's do another. Let's do another. Let's do another. Oh, by the way, just to show you how this works, um, this is two electrons on nitrogen, two electrons on the bond, two electrons on the bond, two electrons on the bond, two, four, six, eight. Nitrogen equals eight. Hydrogen, these electrons count for hydrogen as well. So each hydrogen has two, right? And that's okay, right? Hydrogen has two, most of them have eight. Let's do carbon dioxide. Carbon, one little, two little, three little, four little dot, 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 dot. Oxygen has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see how I'm aiming my single electrons? I'm going to aim my single electrons badly just to show you it doesn't matter all that much. So I've got my single electrons and I connect the dots. Connect the dots. La, 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 connect the dots, ugh, la, la. Okay, that is ugly, terrible. So I have to clean this up a little bit. So what I would do is I would make it, um, and notice how I, this is a double bond here, right? It's a double, right? And I have two pairs on this carbon. This one also has another oxygen with two pairs. And it's got a double bond. Let's make it look less garbagey. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. CO3 negative two. Carbon. Bum, bum, bum. I've got four. I'm carbon. We've got three oxygens. It doesn't matter where you put them. I'm going to do top, left, and right. Each oxygen has six. Aiming my single electrons. Connect some dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. Okay. I've got a single electron here. I've got to decide what I'm going to do with it. I, if I picked it up and put it over here, right? That's okay. I'm allowed to do that. I'm the master of the electron. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double bond here. Okay. So I've made a double bond. And as I look, I see carbon has two, four, six, eight. Carbon's happy. This oxygen has two, four, six, eight. This oxygen's happy. But this oxygen has seven. Oh, but remember, this is a negative two charge. To show that it's an ion, 
and has a negative two charge, I have two bonus electrons to put wherever I want. Paired electrons are bad. I'm going to make, I'm sorry, single electrons are bad. I'm going to make those singles pairs. And I made them enormously big just so you can see what it looks like. That's it. Woohoo! I've got it. Pickle five. Phosphorus has five. One little two, little three, little four, little five, little dot, dot, dot. Chlorine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh, I need five chlorines. Chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, what do I do? I connect the dots. Connect. The dots, la la la. Connect the dots, la la. Okay, phosphorus right now has ten. Ooh, but phosphorus is on the third row of the periodic table. Ah, phosphorus on the third row. Uh oh, that looks kind of obscene. So just P is on the third row, okay? So if it's on the third row, so um, more than eight is okay. And that's what I did. Deep, 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 deep. How fun. All right, arsenic, AS. Oh, arsenic's underneath the P column too. AS has one, little two, little three, little, whoops, four, little five, little, same deal. F, F, F. F. Ooh, I feel like I'm giving out grades. But y'all aren't failing. Except for the Catherine's. Oh, I'm kidding. Fluorine has seven. And notice how I'm aiming my single electrons at my central atom. And I just connect my dots. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Wait, wait, wait. Do I, oh, I know what's wrong here. I said AS and I wanted AR. That's why. So silly. Argon has eight electrons. So I messed up. Should be ARF5 positive. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to connect the dots. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. Okay. So now I've got three electrons left. Three electrons would be pick up those two and make them a pair. Right? Because I started with three singles. Now I have the single one left over. Oh, no. But I have a positive one charge. Positive one means I can eliminate any one I want to, and I'm going to eliminate the single one. Now, let me tell you a little story about chemistry podcasts. This is wicked hard. And this just introduces it to you. And you're not supposed to know how to do this. And we're going to do a whole bunch more. So if you have these things and you wrote down the examples, Cole, and wrote down all the things that you're supposed to, Cole, and you wrote down all the other things that I put, like added neon and what a structural formula is and, and the charges or what Q means and barf, and you're ready to rock and roll. So then we're good. So I will say 